There are so many fun craft projects that you can create using felt. So today I'm going to show you how to cut felt on your Cricut machine. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's jump onto Cricut Design Space and get started. Now because it's almost Christmas, I decided to make this felt utensil holder and I made this using all free images from Design Space. And so I will make this project shareable so that you can use it as well. We're going to cut this Christmas tree out of felt and you'll notice I have two lines going through the center of it. That's where our utensils are going to slip through. I've also put a few stars and dots on here and I'm actually gonna cut those out of heat transfer vinyl rather than felt so we can decorate our Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and click on make it. Now I'm just gonna quickly space out my stars and dots here because after it's cut out, I wanna be able to cut between each of the stars and dots so I can decorate my tree how I want it to be. I also didn't attach all these stars and dots together and that's just so I would save some of my material and so I could use some scrap HTV for this project rather than getting a larger piece of vinyl to use. And then I'm gonna click on continue. Now these stars and dots, I'm gonna cut out of glitter heat transfer vinyl. So I will select my material setting accordingly. But when we go to cut out our felt, let's go to mat number two, we're gonna have to change the material setting. So I'm gonna click on browse all materials and search for felt. So we have our regular felt setting here and then there's a whole pile of different ones. So whether you have glitter felt or acrylic felt or wool, if you're just using regular felt, it's probably 100% polyester. And you may look at this list and wonder, well, what setting do I pick? So let's go to the bottom here and click on material settings so that you can see the difference in all these different felt settings. So now let's scroll down until we get to felt. And here are all our felt selections. So if you look at just the regular felt here, it has a pressure setting at 148 and it does two passes using the fine point blade. Now, if you're using acrylic fabric felt, you can see the pressure setting is turned up so much higher, and you're also gonna be using the rotary blade rather than the fine point blade. So if you are using the rotary blade, you do need to have a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Maker 3. There is no rotary blade attachment for the Cricut Joy or the Cricut Explorer machines. So today I'm using relatively thin felt that I picked up from the dollar store. And so I'm gonna use the setting with the least amount of pressure. So I'm gonna use the regular felt setting, which is 148 with two passes. So let's click out of here and then go back to browse all materials and we have to find that setting again. So type in felt and I'm gonna click on the first felt option here and click done. And when we looked at those settings, you'll remember that it suggested to use the fine point blade, which means you'll be able to cut felt with whatever Cricut machine you have. However, if you do have the maker, I do suggest editing your tool selection. So right above this fine point blade here, it says edit tools. So you can click on that and you can change that to the rotary blade if you have the rotary blade. I find the rotary blade does a better job at cutting the felt than the fine point blade. Once in a while, I find the fine point blade can slightly snag your fabric. So that's something to be aware of, especially if you're not using a newer mat. Maybe you have a few things stuck on your mat, then your fine point blade might not cut as well as you hope. It does do a pretty good job. Just be aware that once in a while you may get a little bit of a snag, but you can always fix that afterwards with a pair of fabric scissors. So because I'm using the Cricut Maker today, I'm gonna select the rotary blade and click apply. Now let's load our felt onto our mat and get it cut out. Now you can use your fabric mat if you want. If you don't have a fabric mat, go ahead and use a green mat. Now you can place your material directly on your mat if you wanted to, but I'm gonna show you a little hack first. Grab some transfer tape and lay it down over your mat and cut it to the size of your material. Then peel off the backing of your transfer tape and this is gonna give us a new sticky surface to put our felt on. And this way we'll be able to clean our mat off much easier than if we put the fabric directly onto the mat without putting the transfer tape down first. So here's a mat where I put the felt directly onto my fabric mat and you can see how much the fabric has stuck to this mat. 
Now you can clean it off a little bit if you want with a scraper, but I find doing that sometimes that you're taking the coating right off your mat. So if you want your mat to last a little longer, put down some transfer tape first. If you don't have a lot of transfer tape, another thing you can use is contact paper and I find that works well. So now we can put our felt on our mat and before we cut it out, we need to change over our fine point blade to our rotary blade. So we're gonna open up clamp B, take out your fine point blade and insert the rotary blade. And then let your machine cut out your felt design. Once your tree is cut out, we can decorate it with the stars and circles that we also cut out. For this project, I set my Cricut Easy Press Mini on low. But before we press our ornaments on, let's lint roll this tree. And I'm also gonna pre-press the fabric just to remove any moisture from it. Then you can go ahead and place those glitter HTV pieces on the tree. And once you're happy with the way it looks, we can press our design down. Now I put a piece of parchment paper in between my press and the felt just to protect my press and also my material. And after pressing our tree for about 30 seconds, we can peel back all the little carrying sheets. I love how this turned out and it's just such a simple project. I think I'm gonna make a bunch more for Christmas and then I'll be able to slip my utensils inside and maybe even throw a candy cane in there too. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more crafting tutorials, check out one of these videos and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.